that. Woo! Good God Almighty! What is going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Bubble of a Bassin. We got a Country Hook TV here in the boat. Um, it's looking pretty, pretty froggy out here. Got smoke coming off the water here. We just had a little rain shower. Uh, it's supposed to last till like nine o'clock, but I think it just ended, so not really worried about that. I got a little giveaway coming up. Uh, stay tuned for that. I got to get the ball rolling with it and get the, the info and everything finalized. Uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, Venom Lures and uh, uh, go subscribe to their channel. They'll be linked below. His channel will be linked below, and hopefully will be linked on my uh, on my poll today. So stay tuned. If you're new here, like and subscribe, and we're gonna catch y'all in the. We're going to catch y'all on the pad, so stay tuned. Are you it's swimming it? Run. Good stuff, dude. The other one's rolling it, running it back in the air, I mean, in the middle of the water. Kenny got him an old little two pounder. He's maybe one. Yeah, he's probably one more and a half. It's healthy. Go back, get back. That was funny. But it was just running it in. I was like, okay. Let Swim me... jig. Yeah. Look what I got tied on. You get a little bite there. Huh? You have a little bite. Yeah. Yep. Somehow I've had a knot in my drop shot. Oh, I had one. He's not gonna come really close. There's no way. I'm gonna put it right in his mouth and drop it. He's hiding the thing somewhere. Else. Down. Old Bubba ain't doing too good. Kenny's out here wrecking him. I only got, I only got one. Yeah, he's I'm getting bit though. You get, you're getting a pattern though. Pattern is what? No, it's not. Pattern is getting bit three or four times off one lure and then you know to go to it. Not lucky. So you swimming that thing or is it just dropping? I'm working it back. Hey, you got a fish right there. Is that pad moving? Where? Oh, back there? Come here. Come this way, this way. 
probably a big fish. Two years ago. Thank you. After he done beat himself up, he's about a two pound fish. He's pretty healthy. He's about 1.7 tree. Guys, this is what I'm using, a black and black and blue shad uh, dream craw from Venom Lures. It's got like a little, little bit of a smoke on top, with like a powdery blue bottom, blue flake in it. She got the job done. I threw out there and she just kind of went to the bottom and the uh, bass just ate it like, and you know, I didn't feel him bite it, but he, uh, he just took it off. guys so we just got done raining we took like a little i don't know maybe an hour break yeah. but uh country hook over here decided that he wants to have a 1v1 tournament so the fish you saw us catch did not count that was a little pre-fish practice uh but yeah so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna weigh our fish uh there's two minute penalties for uh landing boat landing violations when they touch the boat oh gosh it's getting serious and then uh the fish has to be a pound or bigger to keep it like not to keep it but you know store the weight and I don't know what he's got there. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what kind of secret sauce he's got. But let's get on these bass. It's time it. to win something for once. <laughs> right. Yeah, bit. Okay. See, this is what I'm saying. This weird retreat. He'll score. Yeah, weird hook set. All right, zeroed out, guys. Oh, who's blowing my phone? Let's see. Probably only one point one, maybe one. He is a pound and a quarter. There you go. So. 1.21. There you go. He's warm as hell. Time to get a bass, guys. Get serious. I actually got bit to do. Guys, so I just got bit on the Venom 10 inch red bug pepper grass worm. Um, and I couldn't get him to bite again. So what I did is I reversed and uh, attacked him at a different angle, let it drop all the way through the tree. And I felt my weight hit all the tree going down. And then I felt him take it and I set the hook and uh, I ended up getting a bass. So, I mean, it's all about the angles of uh, the way you get the worm and everything to fall through the tree. So. Stay tuned, and uh, we're going to get a bass here in a second. Chris is hooked up. That's going to be some good numbers. Pretty bass. First bass on the 
It's a big old worm, dude. Save that one to Let him have that tree. Cleared out. He's been caught before. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh wait, never mind. That's my. Yeah. Big old hole in his mouth now. One thirty-six. Good stuff. Thanks. Bye bye, boo boo. <laughs> I'd make Steve proud with this worm. Call this the shin bone shake, right? <laughs> Choked it. Look at that. Small bass for a frog. Dude, that was like the, the best frog hook set ever. It's like literally lined up perfect. He might be luckily a pound. Scale is retarded, dude. Pound of five ounces, or a pound and five grams, whatever. I was lucky. What the hell is up on his back? You got a zombie bass? Yeah, his uh, dorsal fin is ripped off. What was your last one? <laughs> 105. Oh gosh, this is smaller than that. One seven nine or uh, seven nine. Sorry. Oh, I was like, ain't no way that's one seven nine. No, but look at this guy's freaking got his stuff cut open, dude. Bad. Fuck, mutilated. One of the worst ones I've seen. He got look, guys. He got his stuff cut open, and talon. I think yeah, I think he got talon. It's tough, right? It's already tight. Don't. Die, so. There it is. That plastic handle piece. Did you get a bit? Uh, not oh, dang, you long. That's a good one. I'm going to land this one for you, dude. Hey, take your time. Take your time. Take your time. What is that? No, it's, it's bass, just take your time. Calm down. No, I know, but you can't afford to lose them. I'll get them for you. Give me some slack. Thought it was bigger. It's about three pounds, dude. See? Good hook set, good. <laughs> Needed that because it hopped out, but I'm trying to ski him. Mm -hmm. 174. Oh man, you stocky looking son of a gun. Here, your fish, you deal with it. 174, that puts me. All right, guys, so what's happening right now is the sun got up, the cloud cover went away. Uh, this morning, top water was not actually the hot topic of discussion, but uh, basically what happened was the clouds went away and they were hitting moving baits, which old country hooked over here was taking advantage of. He got hit like 8,000 times, and now we're fishing shade pockets, uh, fishing the bottom, you know, the Texas rigs and football heads and Cinco's and you know all that stuff 
I'm using a big old 10 inch red worm, you know. So the pepper grass, venom, <laughs> get venom, get bit. Let me just hold on to this one foot shade pocket. I have this mansion of shade here. You felt it too, right? No, I got hit. I got hit, dog. I got hit too. He hit, he took all the worm. Oh boy. <laughs> You're gonna see him jump. Isn't it amazing how those little tiny bass want the worm? Yeah. You know, it's funny they want this long worm, but not the crawl, dude. Yeah. I mean, it's probably whatever natural diet is in here. No, I choose with the crawl in here. <laughs> yes. The tree down right there. I broke off. Fry right here. Pushing in. Really? Yep. They went right towards the right of you. So where I got hooked at? <laughs> oh no, bro, my handle broke off. No! Fucking handle, dude. Hey, if you put that setup on your swim jig rod, that'd probably actually work pretty good. Cast right in front of you. I've caught fish all through in there. There's cypress knees down there. Dang it, stale, dude. I don't understand. Do you? Huh? It's weird. We, we gotta be happy we're catching fish. This is awkward. I was like, I got a fish. <laughs> I bet you she's like 160. She's like 160. I say 1-3 and she stops moving. One twenty-three. Can you just grab my toad? Toad. <laughs> what? <laughs> One nineteen. Why is that? That's gonna be my, my downfall there. Oh, no. I am going off.
Look at this, guys. Kenny called him a 522. Freaking toad, man. Yeah, she's good. And they got a good release on her. Basically, hold her until she bites down on the, my finger. Oh, she ready. Off to the depth. We caught again. All right, what is going on, guys? Uh, Mr. Uh, Country Hook TV over here, you know, Mr. Five Pounder. Um, I didn't get that on camera either, he didn't. But uh, I had battery problems, he had some recording. Recording, now I'm clicking the button problem. We just got done fishing. Country Hook TV here just hooked him a, uh, a 5.22. Uh, largemouth and uh, she was a toad uh, right in the middle of the, the water just on some random sticks like it must have been a hump a groove or a cut or uh, some type of creek channel going on right there where she could get her easy access to the wood come back down feed and then go to the lily pads um, it's pretty it's pretty cool to hook him like that because I thought the hook was gonna bend as soon as she flopped but uh he got on a pretty big toad. He actually kicked my butt today. We had a little 1v1 tournament, as y'all saw. Um, he had like 11 and a half, almost 12 pounds. I only had three pounds. Caught four bass. One didn't count for the tournament because uh, we didn't have a tournament at the time. But weather was kind of funky. Then we kind of got in a groove, and he caught fire. You couldn't pour any more gas on him because he was already lit like, <laughs> like a Christmas tree, dude. <laughs> so, But uh, if you're uh, new here, like and subscribe to me. Also, like and subscribe to him. Uh, also Sooner Fishing 01 and Fishing with Fitz, uh, they're great channels, they're trying to grow as well, so go ahead and hook them up. Also, I'll be doing a giveaway soon for with a, uh, um, uh, a Venom Pond Hopper package, it's got a bunch of stuff in it. I'm going to get the details to you all as soon as possible, so stay tuned, and uh, stay tuned for the next video. So, you know, yeah, yeah.